So hey everybody, it's Dr. JC here, and um, I've got a real special treat for everybody today. Um, I've had the you know opportunity through my life to be mentored and and coached by some uh, pretty amazing people, but I can say that nobody has had such an impact on my life over the past nine years um, as this man I'm about to introduce you to. Um, just a quick background on him, um, other than the fact that. He's a father, and he's a husband, and he's an amazing guy. He's a visionary guy. Um, he's also accomplished quite a lot. You know, he was a critical care physician, actually one of the first. Um, he's also a best-selling author of two books, Dr. A's Habit to Health and Discover Your Optimal Health. Um, in fact, he's got a new book out, and we might touch on that a little bit. He's also the co-founder and medical director for Take Shape for Life. And um, he's just somebody that um, what's relevant about you know, this, this movement that's happening that all of you know about. Um, this is a man that's actually saw this, this a long time ago, and he's actually leading the charge. So, Dr. A, um, thank you so much for taking your time out of your busy schedule to be here with us. Um, and let me just kind of tee, tee up what's going on. Um, so, basically, you know me, and, uh, you know, I, I decided about a, a week and a half ago that I woke up one morning, and I had that feeling, and I said, it's time to go all in, and I, I laid it down on the line, and you know, as, as I did so, I didn't know what was about to happen. So it, it created a movement of sorts, and um, basically o already over 500 people have jumped in and joined me. Um, and what they've done is they've, they've just joined me in this idea of taking the road less traveled. You know, just to give you an example, what I mean by that, there's a lot of concepts people have about November and December, and they think this magic dust, you know, is going to sprinkle over them January 1st. Um, but this is a group of people that recognizes that, you know, growth takes place out of the comfort zone. We're going to take the road less traveled. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of conversation going on within this movement that keeps growing every day because so many people are joining in because it makes sense. Um, there's a lot of conversation about the healthy mind component of the Trilogy of Optimal Health, and your new book, um, Identity, has really created in a positive way a big, big stir within this group because it's true. You know, it's, it's forcing people to recognize some deep truths that are really helping people take that road and recognize that they're in control of their life and um, I'm so happy to have you here. So what I'd, what I'd love to have you do before you go back to your schedule is maybe just spend a couple of minutes and just share on that component of the healthy mind and maybe correlate it to the book and what inspired you. Well, sure, JC, and thanks, everybody. I'm glad you guys are taking that challenge. Uh, as Man for Man and then Bruce Springsteen made famous, that Mama, don't look into the sights of the sun, but that's where the fun is. And uh, although we don't want you to damage your retinas, we do want you to improve your health and your life. So uh, taking that road less traveled, deciding that now you're going to increase your journey to move towards uh, creating optimal well-being and health in yourself is, is a great, and I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed because most people have a tendency to have the flock mentality. They, they go where the trends are. They go where it's easy. They go where there's little resistance. Uh, and the reality is for most people, that's not necessarily the best place to be, and certainly not when it comes to our health and well-being. And you know, one of the key areas in, in writing the book, uh, Identity, was about helping people realize that we spend way too much time absorbed in what we think people think about us, uh, absorbed in what we're worried what people will think about us. Uh, we worry too much about whether we're doing a good job or a bad job, and we don't really ever go out and, and thrive in our lives. And so taking that road less traveled isn't really a road less traveled for you. It may be less traveled if you've been following other people, but it's to actually create the road that takes you where you want in your own life. And you know, I, for many years, I've been talking about helping people organize their life around what matters most to them. And you know, the resonance there, when we really decide that, we stop looking about what we think we can do, but decide what we want to do, that really puts us in position to then thrive in our life. And you know, what we're creating is not basically who we are. We're creating the things and organizing our life what matters most to us. And what we believe or our story as it sits today, it's an old story. It's a story you've had. If that story hasn't created radiant health, amazing physical and mental health and uh, well-being for you, and you're not thriving in all the key areas, it's time to write a new story. And it really is as simple as that. 
it's not about fixing yourself. It's not about, you know, if you look back at biographies in history, um, there's a lot of really, really uh, successful people that didn't think much about themselves. And so our self-esteem is not at the center of this. What's at the center of it is the decision to go do what you want and then to do the things that are nece necessary to get better, JC. So what I would say, it's not what you believe in yourself. It's what you want to accomplish that matters. Now, it's not just about wiggling your nose and saying, oh, I'm going to think about it and it's going to happen re uh, by itself. It requires work. It requires focus. It requires uh, prioritization and it requires productivity. But the most important part is all these things can be learned. You can literally sit down and decide, you know what, I am going to work on my physical health. I am going to start exercise. I'm going to start walking more. It doesn't matter where you are right now. Let's say you walk on average 3,500 steps. So make a goal that you're going to add 100 steps a week. You know, it could be something, a micro habit like that. Uh, as far as sleep, you need to sleep more in order to help you uh, reach a healthy weight. So make the decision to focus more on sleep. Set your alarm back seven hours. Count how many hours back for when you need to get up every day and make sure you have lights out, that you're actually going to sleep. And then the last and the most important thing, stop worrying what people think. Develop a curiosity, an open mindset where you're going to go out and you're going to start getting better. If you look at the people that are the most successful in life, what they do is it's not that they've mastered by practicing 10,000 hours. It's about deliberately practicing that supports what they want. So, JC, you know, as you start this challenge and have these uh, individuals that are joining you, have them pick a couple key areas they really want to work on, start adding the micro habits, and just incrementally do more. So if you make a decision to, to work on your physical health and you're going to work on how you're moving or what you're eating or you're going to eliminate, you know, whatever, whether it's eliminate sugar, eliminate processed foods, eliminate meat, whatever is your goal. Make the decision and do it in baby steps. So start doing something you can do every day and start moving in that direction. And on a bonus round, if let's say you say, I'm going to do five sit-ups a day, do five sit-ups a day. And if you're getting ready to go to bed, we call those the micro habits of health, get down. If, oh, I didn't do it yet today, have a reminder on your phone, boom, sit down, do those five right before you go to bed. And that way you're starting to install a new habit of health. Now, if during the day you feel great, like yesterday I was watching my Gators play football uh, and they were winning, which gets me excited. So during every commercial, I sat down and did 50, uh, 50 sit-ups. You know why? Because I had a moment in the commercials. I don't care about the commercials. I was excited. I felt good. Boom, I knocked out 50 sit-ups. Well, I don't do that every day, but I try to make sure I do at least 25 every day. The bottom line is stop worrying what you think about yourself and start focusing on what you want to create. So, you know, the whole idea is, we all have our identities, and our identities help us when we're growing up kind of find our way. But once we reach adulthood, hey, focus on what you want. What you think about yourself really doesn't matter in your life-building process. And then bottom line is go out and do what you want to do. So, JC, I don't know if that's what you were looking for, but I can tell you that I know that people that focus get out of their own way and focus on what they want. Stop worrying what you think about yourself. There's 100,000 books on self-esteem out there. Why are there 100,000 books? Because you can't fix your self-esteem. What you can to do, do over time is develop more confidence because you're successful, because you are deliberately practicing what's necessary to accomplish the things that matter most in your life. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I, was, I was trying to, in an interview process, come up with some questions, but from the person that's contemplating and kind of not believing in themselves to the person that's completely all in, what you just said was extremely valuable. Um, and that's why so many people are enjoying the, uh, the new book and, and just this idea of taking that road less traveled. So Dr. Ray, thanks so much for taking time. You know, you, you're just having such an impact on so many people, including myself and my family. And, and thanks so much for your time today. Well, JC, thank you. And just one last thing for everybody. The bottom line is uh, change is something that requires effort and it requires discipline and I, the courage to decide I'm going to change. And you know what? Stay with it it'll become part of you over time. On average, it takes about 66 days on average to install a new habit. And the amount of effort it's going to take will go down over time. So even though right now you're still in that period where it might be a little uneasy for you, stick with it, stay with it, and then you'll reap the reward. So JC, again, thank you for your partnership as we work together to create a better and healthier world. God bless. Thank you.